China tops the list of security threats to the United States and has the potential to change the world order for good or ill, a senior US defense official said on Saturday. Speaking at the annual Aspen Security Forum in Colorado, John Rood, Under Secretary of Defense for Policy, said China was the one country, the largest country, with the ability to change our way of life in the United States, and change the global order, for good or ill. China figured heavily during the four-day meeting of top US officials and policy leaders, which ended on Saturday. Retired General Tony Thomas said the world's most populous nation presented a greater challenge in the field of technology than the U.S. had seen in nearly 20 years. This is an area where we have lacked competition, in terms of peer competition, he said during a panel discussion. China had pushed the U.S. to prioritize a comprehensive approach to military applications of 5G wireless communications and the application of artificial intelligence, he said. Chris Bros, a former director of the Armed Services Committee responsible for funding and oversight of the U.S. Defense Department, said China's territorial ambitions in the South China Sea and on its border with India should be a major focus for America's security efforts. There is an expansiveness that I think is concerning, and I don't know where it ends, he said. I think that's ultimately what the United States needs to focus on having the ability to deter expansionist and aggressive acts on the part of China. Right double quotation mark. Also on Saturday, the U.S. State Department urged Beijing to stop its bullying behavior in the South China Sea, amid an ongoing dispute with Vietnam. China should cease its bullying behavior and refrain from engaging in this type of provocative and destabilizing activity, the statement read. Vietnam's foreign ministry had earlier called for the Chinese survey ship Haiyang to Z8 and at least four Coast Guard escort vessels to leave Vanguard Bank part of the Spratly Islands claimed by both Hanoi and Beijing. Rose said Washington risked losing supremacy to China if it did not respond to Beijing's large-scale investments in technology, but said the Asian giant did not yet pose an overwhelming threat. China is not a great power, it is a peer, he said. Other officials adopted a more conciliatory tone on the future of relations between China and the U.S. There's a kind of China fever rising in Washington, said John McLaughlin, a former deputy director of the CIA. It's important that we recognize it as a serious competitor and challenger, and that we not be complacent about its chances of overtaking us in the world, but we don't really know yet whether the right term is competitor, or, adversary. Do we have to rule out partner yet? Right double quotation mark. Due to the size of their economies, the US had a responsibility to the world to properly manage its relationship with China, McLaughlin said. Relations between the two sides are complicated, he said. We want to maintain our preeminence, but we really don't want to go to war. Right double quotation mark.